Hi everyone, once again welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button that will encourage me to create more such content. So let's solve today's problem is 848 shifting letters. So in this problem we are given a string as of lowercase letters and an integer array of shifts. So what is we need to call shift method so what does it mean so if you have character a and you call shift method that will shift to the next character b and if you have v then next shift will see similarly like this from y to g and g to back roll back to back to a so it's like uh, come back to the a and so on and if we need to shift a to three times that will become d so like one 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 you can go v then c then d so like this so now the let's go to the example so in, in example one we are given a string abc so first we will convert it into a character array abc and then we are given a shift three five nine so now what we need to do follow for at i is equal to so this is i is equal to zero at zeroth index we have a and we need to shift this three times so if we shift a to three times this will become d now for i is equals to 1 uh, i is equals to 1 now we need to see both the whatever we shifted a so shifted a is d and b so both the character how many times that's 5 5 times so if we shift d to 5 this will be let's say d then e f g h i so this will become i so finally this d becomes i over here and v will shift to 5 times so this will become uh, g so this will become g now the last is 9 so at i is equals to 2 we need to shift all the characters i g and the c by 9 times so after that we will get this character back so this will be uh, r p l so this is the problem this is how we need to do now so one of the brute force approach you can like do as per the problem but if you do so for every problem like for every index you have to update all the i minus one so the time complexity of that approach will become o of n square but we can optimize it further so how we can do it as you can see over here so for the very first i is equal to zeroth index so character what we are doing we in the end adding all the shift elements so basically the sum if we sum the shift array from back to front so this is 9 5 3 if i sum them up from back to front so this will become 9 like if i create some array prefix kind of like say let me show you the prefix summary so 9 then this will become 9 plus 5 which is 14 and then this will become 17 so in the end we need to update the first character 17 and second character 14 and third character 9 so there might be this like uh, this number can be huge so we need to take modulo by 6 26 as there is a 26 letter in english lowercase letter so this is what first what we can do so the for uh, steps to solve this problem is we can do first like create prefix some kind of prefix some array from back reverse like from back basically reverse side from end to start once we done and we will also keep take modulo 26 then we need to update each character so character a if you have character a then you need to add that like some uh, integral so before that what we can do first we will subtract so if we have some character let's say ch of i is representing that character first we will subtract the a so that we will get the number from 0 to uh, 25 index likes then we will add this new number like the whatever integer we are adding let's say shift of that time after that we will take whole modulo with 26 because adding this can cross 26 then we will add back the character a so that we will form the character once we done this we will typecast is to back to character so that is the formula to shift the characters to that manner so this is the idea so let's try you can pause the video and try to implement these steps it's not that hard it's very straightforward if you have solved one or two string related problem you must be have familiar with this so let's me start the code so first we will define the length of our array or string same so length of a string is n then we will define the prefix summary so let it call summary new int of n 
after that we will initialize the last value so this will be same as whatever is the shift for the last two character that is n minus 1 after that for each from i is equals to n minus 2 n minus 2 to i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus we will create update summary so sum of i is sum of i plus 1 so next array plus the current shifts of i so this is after this step we are getting the prefix kind of prefix summary from back to front once we got this let first create the character array ch so that will be as dot two care array we can get now we will start again from int i again the same way like from here itself or we can do from front as well there is no harm actually so let me copy paste it so that i can reuse so last character is as it is so there is no need to change it now what i need to do ch of i is will be first ch of i minus a so we got the integral value so let it type ka or there is no type ka here then we will add back so one thing i forgot to here i need to take the modulo with the 26 in prefix summary as well so before that let's define an integral mod which is value is 26 so that we will take the mod everywhere with the variable so this is the best practice to write the program so this will be 20, uh, mod here over here similarly we are adding here that will be the sum of i once we added sum of i we will take the mod mod uh, and instead of this mod yeah that is fine we will get the value between 0 and then we will add back the character a once we add back we will type cast to character so that is too many be careful to do all the step carefully this is care once we done we are done with this and in the end we will construct the string from the character array so just call the constructor with the passing the character array so let's try to compile this code if it is working fine or not for the test case yeah we, there is a wrong answer for the last one we are getting l the reason being of getting l uh, we are keep getting c because we are not updating and we need to update that as well so uh, i need to run this loop is doesn't matter we need to run for each character so this will work now so this is working expected let's try give a submit hope this will accept it it got accepted now the time and space complexity of this solution as you can see here we are running one loop then we are also running one loop and we are using array so both time and space complexity is o of n and space is also o of n if you want to do in one pass we can also do in one pass like instead of defining this sum array we can just let me comment this piece of code here we will use this same as it is we will use a one variable integral variable let is sum and initialize this inside we initialize was zero that fine now for the very first value in if i is the last so in that case we will not have the sum or yeah there is no need to check this as well we just update our sum is equals to sum plus the shift shifts how much shift we are doing at that index i and then we will also take the mod as we uh, did in the when computing the prefix summary now we will take mod v20 that's it now instead of here sum of i we just add the sum oh, that's it as we are keeping so we are just reducing the summary we will we can do it with this one variable let me try this oh now so this should also pass yeah so we can submit now now basically we are not using the summary just we did with the constraint like character array so this the time and space complexity is still the same but yeah this is in one pass so that's it so if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also share this video in your friend and circle